It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you. All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different See the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place See you in a better place Ah. Uh. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. from where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it Watch your way and the vibe is feeling strong It was small, turned to a friendship A friendship turned to a bond And that bond will never be broken The love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first Then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own When that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach So remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family When family's all that we got Everything I would do You were standing there by my side you my friend and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again we've come a long way from where we began oh I'll tell you all about it when I see you again when I see
Oh no, can't walk with the back leg. Oh no, move now, man.
For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory, O death, where is thy sting, O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through my beloved, therefore, sorry, my beloved brethren, being steadfast, unmovable, always bounding in the word of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Amen. We'll have a selection by Charles Carner, James' best friend, followed by a tribute from Dwayne Clark, friend of the deceased, followed by the second lesson, Psalms 91 to 10, which has been read by Trevin for the thousand names of the deceased. You may come in this order. Thank you. Where did everyone go? Absolutely. He that dwelleth. So Psalms 90, verse 1 to 10, I'll be reading. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast, for earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and says, Return ye children of men, the timeless God. For a thousand years in thy sight, or but as yesterday when it is past, and as watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep in the morning, they are like grass which grows up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up, in the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy contents. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath, we spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength to labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Dwayne Clark, friend of the deceased, which will be done by Javine Robinson. Praise God. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. We're doing this tribute on the uh, Green Clock. I hear a sound of a mighty rushing wind, and it's close enough.
Johnson, who will be doing a selection on behalf of the family, Miss Noreen Johnson. Good afternoon, everyone. I was asked to do this song on behalf of the family. And I just want the family member to just be encouraging God. And let us all get closer to Him as we are on our time. And I want you to remember that there is no problem on earth. I went to the house that sound used to live. The grass I've grown up and I'll cover the door. Someone Oh 
You know, while I am standing here, I can say, thank God, we have this young man to bury today. And why I say is that is because last week Sunday, I was in church and worshiping God. And my uncle died in Portland and buried and I never know. When I found out it was two days ago, I received a call from a sister in the States and she said, you know that uncle so and so dead. Mr. Wayne, come here ready now. I said, all right. When we make call, I said, no, I can't do anything. She said to me, bury already. He was buried last week and none of us was in form. The family just did what they had to do, but thank God that today, we know it's not the kind of send-off that we want, but thank God that today we have him lying here that we can send him off in fashion and style. Many persons die that don't get a send-off like this. The body can't even be found, but thank God that today it's a sad time for the family. The mother, we're asking you to keep her in your power. As you see, she's not in the church. She's not on the outside. But she don't want to see the proceedings. So we're asking you please to keep her in your power. It's not easy when you have to um, take your belly pain to the grave. At this time, I'll just turn over to the rest of the program to the pastor of the Pentecostal Celebration Church in Mount Airy, Light Brigade, Julie Grime. Can somebody worship the Lord? Can somebody give her a praise? Let's praise his holy name. Bless the Lord. Even though we are mourning, but somebody cry out that this is the day that the Lord has made and we must rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Praise his holy name. At this time we have a remembrance. I don't see any name. I want this remembrance.
Let's worship the Lord. And believe in this Praise world God. for glory someday. God, give life and it takes it away.
Somebody just lift your hands and give God the praise. I invite you to bow your heads with me in this moment. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I come before your presence this afternoon, mighty God, I give you thanks. I give you praise and I give you honor. Father, let your words go forth with power and with clarity. We know, God, that we can no longer speak to the dead. We can no longer, Almighty God, ask the dead what he thinks. But, Almighty God, for those who are still here, for those who are still alive, the question can be asked. Though they may not freely give the answer, the question can still be asked, where will you spend your eternity? So I pray, Father, that your words will connect with their hearts and that there will be complete transformation. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For those of you who may not know who I am, let me just say that I'm a son of the soil. And I think that would be sufficient enough. For those who don't know who I am, I am a Westmorelite, born and bred. The only thing I don't know is whether or not I'm going to die here in Westmoreland. I know I was born here. I was brought up here. My education was acquired here. My confession, conviction, ministry, it is still here. But as to where I die, that is something I have no clue. But I know for a fact Without a question of a doubt, I know for a fact that one day, maybe soon, it may be later, but it is unavoidable. It is something I cannot say, take the turn at the next lane and leave me alone. Because when death comes knocking, and if it's my card that has been punched, then I will exit this life. But for those of you that are here, to what end? What is your hope for tomorrow? What are you looking forward to? What is your expectation for tomorrow? And when I say tomorrow, I, I hope to God that you are not misquoting my interpretation of tomorrow. So I ask you to bid me the permission to come to your level. And his. And why I choose to come to his level and yours, it is simply put, uh, the difference between uh, my schoolmate and I is that he is no longer breathing while I am breathing. But outside of that fact, we are equal in one regards, one day I will end up here. When you look at the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 to 20, he said, come now, let us reason together. I wish I had known my, my uncle would have not made this demise. My cousin 
my friend would not have made this demise. I wish I had known I would have told him to stay home. I wish I had known I would have been there. Ah, God Almighty, I wish I had known, but the fact remains you did not know. And because you did not know his demise, there is no way under the heavens you know yours. So my request to you today is to wait until it's too late. There is still breath in your body and your veins are still running warm. It is time for you to make it right. And now is the acceptable time of salvation. Don't wait till tomorrow comes because some of us here today will not live to see tomorrow. Don't wait for next week to come. Ah, God Almighty, you will not live to see next week. There are some of you that are sitting in front of me. I can't preach about him to tell you to give your life to God. So I'm going to preach about you because you're still alive and you're still here and you can hear the words that are coming from my mouth. And there are some of you who are saying, I need to get this right. I need to get this done. I need to achieve that. I need to achieve this. But the Bible said this night, your soul is required of I'm not saying don't get wealthy. I'm not saying don't look good. I'm not saying don't drive no fancy car. I'm not saying don't live in no big house. I'm saying do all that. But in the midst of it all, make sure that your soul is right with God. In the midst of the big car, make sure you're calling on the name of Jesus Christ. In the midst of your big house, make sure you know God as your Lord and Savior. When you're squandering money, make sure you know who God is. Because I don't mind being rich. I don't mind having a nice car. I don't mind having a nice house. But I need to make sure that when I die, oh God Almighty, the house can't take me to heaven. The car can't take me to heaven. The money I got can't take me to heaven. The friends I have. Come, let us reason. And if you have not made it right with God, here is my request. Make it right. And come and do it now. You better make it right with God. You see, when I look at the outside and I see nothing but just young people, it tells me that he has a, a large crowd. Imagine if this young man had given his life to the Lord and begin to preach. Look at the young men and young women that are on the outside. They all look to him because there was something about him that was magnetic. There was something about him that was inviting. There was something about him that was charismatic. There was something about him that draws people to the personality that he is. But irrespective of what drew you to him, you cannot draw him from where he is to you now. So what is your expectation? What's your plan? Live today. Enjoy the world, the glory, the glitter, the glamour. And die in sin. And have no hope to reign with God. I came to your level so you can understand that I am no different nor am I better than you. But I got a hope and I hope to God that you will get that hope. That if you die now, you have a chance to see God's face. Young men and young women. What's your plan? What's your plan? You see, most of you said, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to get an education. And then I'm going to go off to university. And then I'm going to get a good job. And then I'm going to be able to build my life. A couple months ago, I buried my wife's sister. Went to university, has a heart of gold, but life has a twisted fate for her where she had Crohn's disease and there's no cure for that. And I had to watch her go through an agonizing death. I had to watch her bloat and swell in pain until she died. Today, let us be the cry to all those that are here, young and old. We can't change. We are changing.
Praise God. Put your hands together for the speaker. Praise God. We have eight minutes to get out of the house. We were given two hours. We are asking the eulogy to come forward as quickly as possible. We cannot, Lord, that Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. As I stand here today on behalf of the family morning of the tremendous loss of our dearly beloved Anil Christopher Smith, aka San Foro or the Great Pelico Boss. Throughout the eulogy, I will be referring to Anil as San as he was affectionately called by his family, friends, and colleagues. Sam was born on June 22, 1982, in Good Hope, Negril, from a coalition between Peggy Barrett and Colin Smith, and was snatched away from us on March 1, 2023. Oh, how we miss him. Sam grew up in Good Hope and attended the Little London Secondary School. His cousin Samantha fondly remembered his graduation day, which he requested for her not only to accompany him to the service, but to allow him to drive her car as he could impress his classmates, especially the girls. Upon graduation, he was given the opportunity to manage a clothing store that Samantha owned. Sam had charisma and charm, which he capitalized on and he did well with the business. Sam had a passion for motorcycles and would perform some crazy stunts only a daredevil would do. His antics and on the bikes up and down the beach road increased his popularity. Many of us who knew him personally thought the news of his passing would be from a motorcycle accident and not the way it happened. But God knows best. Sam was a hustler, a true entrepreneur from the get-go, and his love for motorcycles led him to own and operate a successful bike rental at an early age. His popularity grew amongst his peers, and as a youngster with manners and a, pleas a pleasant personality, he was loved by many. His latest adventure was that of a promoter slash consigner slash dispenser, and we all thought he had finally found his niche in the business he enjoyed. My brother lived a full life. On his own, the way he wanted, and he enjoyed every moment of it. He was kind and loyal to a fault. He was the life of the party, and even though he couldn't hold the tune, he loved to sing. Not to mention his dance moves. In Sam's head, he had the smoothest dance moves, and just in case he didn't get the latest moves down pat, he would add his own flair to the moon to make it his own. Sam loved the finer things in life and developed a love for traveling. He enjoyed spending time in Italy with his cousins and friends there. In Canada, he and his cousin Andre mush up the place, as he would say. His comedic side had people around him in stitches. His cousin Juba and the crew in the U.S. treated his son like royalty, to the point where he entertained the thought of migrating. We all knew that would be a tough one, as Sam had two princesses that he adored and hated the idea of not being able to see or spend time with them. His last visit to Canada was cut short because Sam just wanted to come home to his place. Shift our 
thoughts from how much we we'll miss him to the laughter, joy, and the pleasant memories we share. So if only briefly, let's relive, enjoy, and smile, and keep his memories alive. Sand is survived by his mother, Peggy Barrett, father, Colin Smith, two beautiful daughters, Ariane and Nessa Smith, grandmother, Lila Barrett, three sisters, Karma, Diane, and Michelle, four brothers, Ricardo, Lloyd, Jermaine, and Courtney, special friend, Tony Ann, Bestie, Nan, Patsy, and Monica, nieces, nephews, aunts, and uncles, and a host of other family and friends. I leave this world with you. Your gentle face and patient smile, with sadness we recall. You had a kindly word for each and died beloved by all. The voice is mute and still the heart that loved us well and true. Ah, bitter was the child to part from one so good as you. You are not forgotten, Sam, nor will you ever be. As long as life and memory last, we will remember thee. We miss you now, our hearts are sore. As time goes by, we miss you more. Your loving smile, your gentle face, no one will ever fill your place. R.I.P. Sam. Right, we're going to ask the visitors to stand and the bereaved family to sit. We pray and God delivers. We pray and God stop the war. We pray and God delivers. afternoon God. Mighty God, we put the bereaved family before you God. Mighty God, the mother, God, the sisters, the brothers, the nieces, the nephews, the aunts, the children, the grandmother, God Almighty. My God, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will give them the strength, the courage, uh, and the determination to go on. Uh, mighty God, you said to cast thy burdens uh, upon you, God, because you care for us. Uh, mighty God, and this afternoon, God, uh, the buried family is casting their burdens uh, upon you, God. Mighty God, we pray, uh, God, that you'll give them a shoulder to lead on. Uh, God, we pray, God, that you'll bind them together with your love, with joy, with peace, uh, with happiness, God. I pray, God Almighty, that you'll fill their store basket that it may never be empty. Mighty God, I pray, God Almighty, that you'll draw them closer to you right now. Mighty God, I pray, God, that as we are to beckon on the journey to the God, that you will go before us. Mighty God, thank you, God, for today's proceedings. God, thank you for the way that you have lead. Mighty God, have thine own way right now as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen and amen. I want to also thank the officers who have allowed us this time, praise the name of the Lord, two hours, and we have accomplished that. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. I'm going to ask the pod bearers to come forward. The ministers will be leaving at the platform for the casting of the which the family members. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, and I will go. Lead me. 
Bring back 
a prayer for the ones of my past No matter how long them life lasts Cause only the Almighty know why them gone so fast No but be about your virgin Wait a fuck him though you're heaven and wait Him see him when I go meet you Why the pearly gates dress in a all white Everything alright A guy that not protect me all night Your family wait a fuck though you're heaven and wait Same when I go meet, we are the pearly gates dressed in a all white Everything all right, the guy that not protect me all night My brother gone for you, my ball, them thing my gone insane But me get to realize him never gone in vain Yes, me stress out to my maga, question the father Cause him say anything for call him name Anybody will lose a loved one, man feel your pain But there's a reason why it happens, so no freeze your brain For pain I ain't got accommodation But in couple situation, my heart feel the same Yeah, your virgin, wait your powder, your heaven and wait Them same one I go meet, we are the pearly gate Dress in a all white Everything alright, I got an I protect with all night. Your family wait your powder, your heaven and wait. Them same one I go meet with your the pearly gate dress in a all white. Everything alright, I got an I protect with all night. For certain things in our life, so we just can't prepare some news I got negative. Where we are got here, but anything where we are face, we can manage. Cause the Almighty no give more than we can bear. Me know I said them the right, they so I guide you. And I know where you then the master not beside you. Not in flesh, but in spirit. 100% security them I provide you. Yeah, your brother, watch out for the heaven and wait. And I ain't seen one of me to wear the pearly gates in the all white. Everything alright, I got an I protect with all night. Yes, your loved one, watch out for the heaven and wait. Them same one I got me to wear the pearly gates them in the all white. Everything alright, I got an I protect with all night. Yes, your loved one, watch out for Rest me in and bow your soul, both thou and forevermore. Let everybody Love say, Amen. Sleep on me, love. Sleep and take your rest. Be down the head of one the Savior's friend. We love you, but Jesus love you best. Goodbye, goodbye. For just soul of the world that he gave his only begotten son. But whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Life is a journey. One way a ticket, sometimes good, sometimes wicked. Still give thanks. Still give thanks. Cause I know you're in a better place Yesterday me hear you gone away Gone too soon oh. And I'm missing you Yesterday me hear you gone away Gone too soon And oh, I'm missing you All when a hundred years pass Can't forget your lifestyle Holy parties, man can't talk Wish I was there in the last part Maybe me could have tried something Do something, say something To save your life Me think about it every night Me still hear your baby cry Verily I say unto thee Today thou shalt be with me in paradise Yesterday me hear you gone away Gone too soon Oh, and I'm missing you Yesterday me hear you gone away Gone too soon